Where's Anthony at? Come on. Right, Anthony's about to come on here, actually. Okay. Why? Aren't I verified yet? She said, who knows, man? I feel like it's like a lot more to it than just you put in like some random application and that kind of shit. I took Drew Fat Body course. I was expecting to meet you. Um, I don't pop up to every single class um, unless, well, not every single class, but I'll pop up, you know what I'm saying? Like if I actually knew, you know, the time periods and that kind of shit. So, all right, uh, give me a few minutes. Okay. Like you bullish, you already know, man. You've been told us, Ronnie Jordan. Nah, man. But when I get verified, I get, I, I get verified. I'm not even stressing it. Trust me, it's not slowing anything down. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. So you made 20k off XRP, late, slapping it up. Um, it's funny because what I made off XRP within the entire push, I I didn't really margin trade it. Um, I had XRP already. In I had maybe about like forty five um, thousand XRP. Nothing really crazy because like that's like one thing that I wasn't even willing to invest big in personally because that shit is too fucking crazy. Like all these ups and downs and and, and crazy ass pumps. That's what kind of throws me off at times. So at times like I don't even like tr try to risk it. But the, the only thing that I'm really invested in, you know, is you know just Bitcoin mainly. I got a good amount in Bitcoin, so I mean that shit. You know, if it pumps. You already know. <laughs> you are the biggest trader I know out there. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And always trying to make a statement. Exactly. You don't need a blue check to be verified. This this may have been verified. In fact, you know, and um, people think, you know, if you have a verified check, that changes much. Um, like, if you're lame um, without a check, then you're going to be lame with a check. You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. But vice versa, you know, same shit. ATL meetup. Um, I don't really plan on going to ATL no time soon, honestly. Confluence 2.1. Um, I don't have a Confluence 2.1. I have a Confluence 2.0, 2.5, 2.9, but not a 2.1 though. But appreciate it. Um, I know Confluence 2.5 is going to go public in like 2023 because I dropped my personal Confluence videos from Wall Street Academy on YouTube over... I think like every three years I drop uh, a Confluence video and put it public. You know what I'm saying? So over time, you'll be seeing Confluence 2.5 on YouTube and then Confluence 2.9 on YouTube and then Confluence 3.0 and then eventually Confluence XXX. And who knows like if I make another Confluence video and so on and so on. You know what I'm saying? So I, I try to actually put the information out there to the public eventually, but it's never going to be in like a timely manner. It's going to be based on, you know, a three year or four year time span and shit. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you so much. <clears throat> what kind of value am I looking for in people to be a part of FIP? That's the thing. So like whenever people say that they want to be a part of FIP, like um, you could be a part of FIP by just being a part of a, like one of the brands. You could be a part of Wall Street Academy. You could be a part of Technical Prosperity. You could be a part of um, Profits for Life. You could be a part of Boston with Drew. You're still a part of FIP to a certain extent. But when... It comes to people like getting the FIP chains and whatnot. That's different because that's like more on like a personal inner circle type thing. Like they actually, we're actually around each other. They're actually adding value to the brand in person, not a person that's fucking all the way in North Dakota or some shit. I, I'm never around you. Um, so it's people that are just a close set of friends, a, cl a close set of friends, family that pretty much are adding value to a certain way to the um, brand. So that's that's pretty much when it comes to you know getting the chain and whatnot, but a random person that's across the world and everything is not going to get a chain because they're not adding value to the, the inner circle, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, like that, that thing, um, it's, 
you know, it's based on just a character, you know, a person's character and whatnot, you know? Simple. <laughs> um, what did I, oh wait, what did I put on YouTube? I put, I put Confluence, what Confluence video is on YouTube? Let me check. I know, okay, 1.0 is on YouTube. Um, I'm not too sure if, let me check. Uh, I don't know what's on YouTube. Let's check, let's check, let's check. Um, okay. All right, so. Fuck. Can't even see. YouTube. What videos do I have on YouTube right now? I have, no, yeah, I have Confluence um, 2.0 on YouTube. Confluence 2.5 is not on YouTube from my channel. Um, I have 1.0 on YouTube from, from my channel, official, and Confluence 2.0 on YouTube, and that's official, but not 2.5. 2.5 is gonna come out in a couple years. So yeah, if it's if you see it on there, then then yeah, that, that's not me, bro. All of FIP go hard. Um, Jersey up in it right, right now, heavy. I expect that because the thing about it is this: um, in FIP, right? It's me and Ryan up top because we pretty much made the brand and whatnot. So our younger generation, which is like more Emil, Drew, we make sure that they're on point with everything that they have going going on because they have to inspire, you know, upcoming people. So people. And I hear this from people all, all the time. Um, I can make, let's say, 200,000 in, in like one day, right? It doesn't inspire people like how it used to because I'm already, I've am i been doing this, this shit for so fucking long, you know what I'm saying? So Drew has Drew has been c coming up heavy, you know what I'm saying? Like seeing him from, let's say, 2016 to now, you see the fucking level up, you know what I'm saying? So seeing people that seen him from 2016 Till now, that's a fucking drastic change. So he helps inspire people that um, I'm kind of out of reach with, and which is amazing. Emil, same thing. Remember, Emil learned how to speak English not not too long ago, you know, and now he's doing um, English classes and everything else, which is in insane. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of um, value that we make sure that we're putting with FIP and everything, because every single person that we actually add on to the brand. They have to be able to, you know, inspire people to a, to a certain way by themselves before they even get on the brand. And then we could just, you know, push them even more or whatnot and, and really kind of like mold them into, you know, some dope shit. Hello? Okay. Um, in the far right. And then get to 600. You can take hundreds or, or, or 20s. Either way. What would I say to a 17 year old trader? Bro, I don't give a fuck how old you are. Like, I, I hate when people say age. It doesn't matter. The younger that you are, the better it is. You're starting early, you know what I'm saying? Same advice that I'll give to anybody. If you're in, in a position 15, 16, 17, to start. It's simple as that. You're, you're at a good point. And people that are 14, 15, 16, 17, they actually learn a lot better because remember, you're going to school every single day. You know what I'm saying? You're going to school, you're going, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're learning all kind of shit like around that age. So versus if you're 21 plus, you have an option to learn if you want to, but 14, 15, 16, 17, whatever, you are, are kind of forced to learn every single day. So that's like the big difference I feel like. Thanks. You're my inspiration. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 
Oh wait, um, I think Anthony's supposed to get on here one second. Okay, let me try to get Anthony's attention because my boy Anthony been slapping up XRP. I'm not too sure if y'all seen it. You know what I'm saying? But it's been crazy. So let, let me try to get his attention real, real quick. Uh, let me get his phone up. All right, let's go, Anthony. Oh, he doesn't even have this fucking phone number. Um, but but yeah, man. Um, the biggest thing with with these past like pumps and whatnot, I feel like it's just like a, a good opportunity for people to actually you know make a good amount of income, but also to then get introduced because people are believing so much in the stock market now, but didn't believe in the forex and trade indexes and that kind of shit before. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of weird. So now I feel like those big pumps and whatnot has really expose people to actually want to now look into these other things that we've been doing for fucking years and years and years and years and years. You know what I'm saying? Um, how were you, oh wait, how were you able to remain humble and cool headed with all your success? I don't know. <laughs> just get used to shit. Get used to shit. Stop. Don't act like an asshole just because you got shit. Just get used to it. Um, um, I got tired of sitting on the sidelines. It was the best decision I ever, ever made. Wall Street Academy, straight up, man. Because if you're like, if you're sitting and watching people grow, and you've seen people come up for, you know, I'm not gonna say nothing, but from um, lesser from what they are now, like it's pretty cool to see um, the drastic change in people. It could be income, it could be mindset, it could be, it could be all kind of shit. And even like the um, thing that I posted the other day, like I have a student that drives trucks, you know what I'm saying? So shout outs to you, bro. He, he, he drives trucks for a living and trades at the same time while he's driving his, his trucks, 18 wheelers and whatnot. So while he's doing shipments and whatnot, he's trading the entire time. The boy made like 40,000 this past week, you know what I'm saying? But still, still driving trucks, you know, and that's raw shit. He's literally a truck driver, but he's making bands on bands on bands, trading manually every single week. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy as hell. Trucking and trading, exactly. Like, that's his, his hashtag. Cute, um, when you started trading, what was the, what was your goal? To, uh, was your goal to be one of the best? Um, when I started trading, the, the goal was not to be like one of the best. I just try to actually, you know, put my full efforts and, and stuff to, you know, to be as as good as I can be. But I'm pretty sure based on like my um, work ethic, you know, it kind of comes to that at times. Uh. Oh, look who it is. Mr. What's XRP. up, my guy? Mr. XRP. <laughs> Man, I lost That's it all, man. so I can't say too much. Uh, it's the... You can still call yourself Mr. XRP, bro. Trust me. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. I uh, I flipped the account really hard, and then I, I was like, screw it. I'm going to go all balls deep. And I don't blame you. Fuck it. Just, listen, like, people I'm got to understand, like, certain losses are also fun, too, because it's like what you did with the account, you pretty much push that shit to the fucking limit at times. Oh, like, yeah. I'm a dozen, but, hey, like, at least you see numbers. Oh, um, yeah that many don't fucking see you know what i'm saying which is yeah i know i can do it again easily it, it's not it's nothing crazy but um it was fun exactly was fun. exactly is it stressful not i mean it wasn't actually it really wasn't that stressful um but like for me like what it was good about it was just like i started it with a profit and then flipped the profit and then i put it in an account and then i flipped that again yeah and then I risked it all. So it's like I only lost profit. No, no, see, and that's what it comes down to. It's, like, it's not like you're you're losing pocket money, like actually. No. no, and I said I, I said from the beginning, I was like, I was like, this account, like this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do exactly. You know? So it was intended on on either getting built up or fucked up. Either yeah, way. yeah. Basically, I was like, um, I basically was like, I'm either going to flip this account um, or I'm going to lose the entire account. 
yo, know, you know what's crazy? Like how um some people think like, okay, cool, like okay, um let's say you brought a a fifty k account up to now four hundred four hundred thousand, right? They'll they'll look at that as oh shit, I lost four hundred thousand. Like no, you didn't. You only lost. You can't. You know what I'm saying? No, but, you can't. but 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 some people think that same exact way. Like they they think like they lost the four hundred thousand, but in reality, like it, it was still digital money you know it wasn't actually like you actually had it inside your bank account and then put it back into the market no it wasn't actually secured fully 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 yet no yeah no i mean i mean dog, and the problem was is i mean i probably should have like pulled out and took some profits and stuff like yeah. that but i uh <laughs> wow. um but i uh i probably should have but like it, it, all I lost was profit I already made. Like, so I was like, screw it. And I was ended up being 3,000 lots deep in Ripple. I've, I've never seen that shit then. So I lost it, but like, it was fun. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll do it again. Watch. I'll do it again here soon. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just fun. It's all fun. That's what it comes yeah. down to. <laughs> It's all fun. That's what it fucking comes down to, bro. Ripple, I think Ripple's, I mean, I think US 30 is about to short. Let me check it out. So, like, if if you're not willing to, to risk it at times, then it's kind of like, you know, a little waste. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, you know, every now and then you got you have to go balls deep. Like, if you just made, like, let's say if you made $20,000 today, right? You could easily risk, like, $5,000 and, and make more on that, but go balls deep off $5,000. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like not being scared to actually you know, push those limits on your account is going to make you actually get to different points inside your trading journey. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you're not willing to actually, you know, go that extra um, distance, that extra effort to just push, then you're not going to, you know, break out new levels. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's what I was trying to do. I just sold you as 30. Good shit. I'm up a thousand. <laughs> Quick. Standard? Uh, 50 cents. I'm on, uh, I'm only on the $200,000 account. Okay. Clutch. But see, that's the thing, though. I started this account with fifty grand. Yeah, I started this with a fifty net last week. Last week, I started with fifty grand, and then I built it to two hundred and fifty. Withdrew fifty, mm -hmm. and then and now I'm gonna just kind of get that point. What we gonna do? Like once it's all profit, that that's when it gets like kind of fun because you could like exactly. I really care for it, you know. Exactly. Exactly. That's what you gotta do, though. That's how you. I mean, that's how you grow. You know, I wasn't. I was willing to risk it. I was willing to risk it. I said, "Fuck it." Yeah, you can't be scared. If those that aren't scared to risk earn, uh, well, deserve everything that they're earning. Honestly. Scared money don't make money. Simple. She gets me amped straight up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Somebody said, what's, uh, what's your TP for US 30? Um, I will be holding it to at least, I'll put my stop loss and profit at 33, 300, 13, and then I'll be holding it to 229,806. Yeah. I was just on Andy, like, um, I feel like, you know, once US 30 gets to like a certain point, like it'll, it's going to kind of like balance out around like 28,000 or so. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it's just one of those things. Like, watch, this US 30 trade, if it plays out for me, I'll make another 50 grand. Yeah. Like. Quick and easy. Yeah. Yes, I am a Gemini. I'm already, I'm already up. Nah, I'm already like, at 3,500. <clears throat> shooting pretty nice. It should drop here. You seeing it? Yeah, I'm. Um, I just got on it now. I'm also in GU buys. Oh, GU, that's just crazy. You know, I've only traded GU maybe like ten times in like my entire like you know seven years of trading type of shit. Like, <laughs> never really been like been like a thing. You know? Let me look at it. Let me look at GU. Yeah. I mean, my cell is holding strong. Yeah. From the top. But that's what I flipped that account. How do you get rid of um, fear of missing out? Um, be satisfied with what you got. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you make let's say 
um, twenty thousand one day, but then you could have made let's say eighty thousand, and that's what it is. Like you could do a lot with what you made. So just kind of like just think of it as just be grateful for the profit that you actually have because it's profit. It's more than than what you had before. Exactly. So that's what it is. It's honestly, you know, it's not really much. Exactly. You're gonna always miss out. Like you like. There's always trades going, that kind of shit. Like you, like you're gonna miss out left and right. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, always. Satisfied. You're never gonna catch every move. It's not. You're never gonna catch every move. I'm up six thousand now on US thirty. On point fifty. Um. No, I'm a dollar fifty now. Oh yeah, you put in um two more. I put two more in. Watch, this thing's gonna drop. US 30 is easily gonna yeah, drop. It looks solid. Solid sell. All day long. 3,000, 5,000, I'm up 6,000 now. Come on, baby. So I think it dropped. You in? Like the, no. I, was, I was looking at it like um, <laughs> this morning. Oh, shit. My detailer just texted me. I need to get the detailer? Yeah, I need to get my car's detailed. How, um, how's the truck? Bro, it just got in. It's fucking dope. Mm -hmm. It's so fucking epic. Is it bigger than what you expected? I mean, I saw it in person. It's pretty fucking big, but it's yeah. just like... You just got... Man, I'll FaceTime you later and show you. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta yeah. see that. Mm. Um, you know, the EA is kicking ass. I've seen it. Like, um, It's been averaging maybe on um, what? How much a day now? Probably about, we're, I'm about to up the risk, but it's been averaging about 10 grand a day. Okay. 10, to, 15, 10 to 15 grand a day. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that EA has been everything. <laughs> I love this live, this live trading. <laughs> um, I just got $30. Somebody just made $30. <laughs> Somebody made 30 bucks? Hey. Uh, do do y'all mostly scalp? Hell no. I don't I don't think that we want to scalp. Um we definitely can hold trades for a good amount of time. But if an opportunity is a only a scalp opportunity and, and nothing else presents itself, then that's what it is. But um I don't think you know our primary you know flow of things is um scalping. I, I know I know how to scalp and I, I mean yeah. so like I can do it, but like I'd rather hold trades all day long. Yeah. All right, all right, we moving, yeah. we moving. You, you, you got to be up at least like ten thousand now. I'm up eight. Eight thousand. Nine. Just broke nine. How do you guys feel? Broke ten. I'm up ten. Ten thousand. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, though. Like, watch, I'll make this fifty said, like, real quick. Somebody said Anthony is revenge trading because he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't revenge trading when you know what you're doing. Oh God, he's like, oh, but what did you you lose so and so? So th isn't it considered as revenge trading? <laughs> what do you? Bro, what you up now? Um, Sixty. You in a penny? Uh, four cents. And um, I was telling somebody the other day, right? You got to be so disciplined with even um, yeah. even. Watching people make money. It won't let me move my stop loss and profit. Why well, won't it let me move my stop loss and profit? Uh, uh, refresh your Oh, <laughs> that's because I'm moving my take profit. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be like disciplined enough to actually be able to, um, you know, go on Instagram, see people make money, but not, um, not have an urge to just trade because there we go. a person is trading. I've seen, I've, seen US okay, I've been holding UJ since. Oh, wait, you've been holding UJ since the 20th of December, longest swing time. Oh, what the fuck? That shit is wild. Damn. That's wild. Every time I lose, Somebody said not enough margin. Look, I'm in the 30 minute looks good. H1 looks great. There we go. Yeah, we, 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 we
Yeah. You can lose a lot of money or make a lot of money. Yeah. 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 I'm a, yeah, I'm a, yeah. Nine, nine, ten, eleven. I'm up twelve grand now. That's it. Uh, so, bro, I'm sore, bro. I'm trying to get like you. Huh? <sighs> Takes a while, man. What's G U doing? I can't believe you actually trade that that craziness. Bro, G U? Yeah. You know how to trade it, it's good. Yeah, no, um I had like a, a little spree that I was trading G back at one point. Um I made some straight money, but then I had like one loss that was super uncomfortable. Like it's like the risk of rewards like when it comes to currencies, it's it's nowhere as smooth as an index, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, trading trading is different, man. I tell people all the time, like trading isn't hard. It's just, it's, it's easy, it's just mental. Like like how many people like 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 for instance today when it comes to me, like I built an account to yeah. six hundred thousand dollars and then I lost it. Yeah, yeah. It, on on what pair? At Ripple, that's what I built it to. Yeah. It was, my finished account was at six hundred thousand dollars. And then I lost it. But like dude, I got up. You can ask them. They were sitting here next to me. I got up, I went and looked at my camper. Fuck it. It is what it is. Turn up. Gotta do what you gotta do. Turn up. Gotta do what you gotta do. That's what it's about, man. Fuck it. Seventeen grand. Fuck it. I had a <laughs> so I just went and closed and I had to close. It. Oh. Instead of putting my stops in profit, I just went ahead and closed. Epic, epic. Yo, listen. I know that that feels good too, man. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Let's start the fucking day. <laughs> I mean, it'll it'll drop. It's gonna it's gonna drop to that level, hands down. Yeah. But I don't feel like holding it because yeah. I'm in a, I'm in I'm in 150 lots on GU right now. So I'm not trying to yeah, hold it. Here, you know? yeah. Regardless of how it ends, I feel like the day still started pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So cheers oh, to that. Yeah. Cheers, Where's my guy. I'm drinking water. Water? All right. That counts. Water. I'm about to start drinking some whiskey. Early morning. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I got a lot of work today. I got a lot of work today. Mm. You'll never go broke taking profits. That is true. Very true. Let's see what GU is gonna do. Mm -mm -mm. GU looks like. Let me look. Analyze GU for me, Q. Hate that shit, but I got you. It's anti that triple top was real. GU, GU. It's gonna keep popping overall. I just don't feel like holding it. It's stressful. It's, yeah. US it's 30 is stressful as fuck. Well. No, it, it's, it's been that way for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's your bias on, on GU at the moment? Um, I'm in sales at, I got in at 1.37425. I just got in buys. Okay. I just, but yeah, I just got in buys, but they're small lots. Yeah. They're small lots. So yeah, this dude just made 1,000 on US 30. Hey. Hey. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, I'm at a standing desk at the moment. Standing, standing desk, standing desk, standing. I don't have a standing desk. No, nah, because, um, I, like I was like at my condo, like I don't want to be fucking like slouchy or that kind of shit. So I'm gonna oh, yeah. fucking work and shit, you know. This guy's up ten percent with the EA so far today. Hey, congrats! congrats. Give me a round of applause. Yeah, but not um. G U definitely looks solid from where it's at like right now, honestly. So yeah, it could buy right. Um, short term, I feel like, but yeah, um, yeah. that's what I'm looking for because of that. It's got that nasty trend. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't use uh, MetaTrader. <laughs> it's 
got that nasty trend line. If it breaks that trend line, my sales are still good. I'll, I'll get out. Yeah. But I'm waiting to see. And also, like that, that trend line is, is like what's the main, the main thing that's really holding that area up right now. So yeah, I got um, I got an interview with Chart Addicts tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool dude, actually. I did my interview with him like what, like last year or something. Bro, Ripple, Ripple, man, man. I ain't mad, but I ain't happy. I wanted to. People are asking how how to get the EA. Uh, LeverageTrading.com. I'll be honest with you though, like we might not be. We, we have for a while, but price is about to go up. If I'm even, we, we want to sell it for a little bit longer, but not much, because. Correct. Yeah. Short time. Bro, we're getting chargebacks because someone's like, someone put $50 in there. He made 100% and is mad he didn't pay for his membership. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, why'd you put 50 bucks in there then? Like, we told you we recommend 2000 I told you, minimum 2000 Yo, Q, where you get these white tees? Yo, a lot of people ask me where I get my, like, my tees from, my black tees and my white tees. Oh, God damn it. I get boxes of, of, of t-shirts every single, like, um two months and i only wear like my t-shirts like maybe like one time um if i'm going out like if i wear it the second time it's probably to the gym or some shit but yeah it's one what time you think about them oral los angeles shirts i said insane 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 i i got the, the um black one the other day actually you bought it oh no, no you got it in the, the, the other one came in the other one came in yeah finally so um, Q, except me on a Facebook, I got you. I got you. Um, it should all be approved today, so just um, stay tuned or or to stay tight. I guess it's whole tight. Um, try to send me your email actually. So worst comes to worst, I can just do it manually. You know what I'm saying? It's Groundhog Day today, apparently. Oh, I haven't <laughs> seen it before. So, um, oh, let's roll with it. Uh, PriceLevelTrading.com? No. What is that? I don't know what it is. Sounds weird. Yeah. Bro, Oro Los Angeles is where the shirts come from. Yeah. That's the spot. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to draw my own clothing line. Why not? It's only right. I feel like, you know, we got that that style for it, so. Website for the LeverageTrading.com. LeverageTrading.com. Spell it. LVRG trading.com. Yeah. Um, if you're part of Q's uh, Wall Street Academy, we'll have a coupon code for all you guys. Yeah. Here soon. Hold on. Hold on. Let me pin this. Bro, I'm going to get that vote. Yeah, check it. Yeah. I'll put on. Um, all right. It's right there. It's pinned. LVRG trading.com. Where is the best part of Miami to stay for a month? Um, I don't know. You can stay downtown or some shit. I mean, it, it, it all, like, depends on what you're into. Like, if you're into the city, then downtown. But if you're into, like, you know, more of a suburb type of thing, then you can probably stay somewhere in Fort Lauderdale. So, yeah, it's really based on, you know, your, your your vibe, honestly. So Grant Grant made a grand today. Grant made a grand. Grant, <laughs> Grant made a grand it makes sense. Grant made a grand today with the EA and trading. Grant made a grand. Let me see. Is US 30 still dropping? Uh, it's like going sideways. At the moment. I'm, I'm waiting I'm for it. I'm going to come back later and be so pissed off I didn't hold. <laughs> Watch. Let's see. Well, yo, I'm going to holler at you. I'm going to get off here. Yeah, I got I got somewhere I gotta do yeah. but but thanks everybody for coming on. Also, also yes. check out trading.com also so um, you guys can actually grab an EA if you if you want it. Um and go from there. But and if any questions just um contact Anthony, you know what I'm saying? And he'll he'll, he'll get back at me. I tried to. Yeah, I tried to at least. Um, Let's do it. Alright, all right, bro. Peace out. Peace. I've heard of it.